Today we are on the human hobble. I've just had lunch and I thought I would run you through what I usually eat when out on a multi-day hike. So this bag is what I carry all my food in for all my hikes. It comprises of Ziploc bags with my daily food packs. It has my bag full of coffee, uh, tea bags, salt and pepper sachets, um, which are excellent for making your freeze dry it a little bit tastier. Some electrolytes. I always have them as I'm cooking my dinner at night time around camp. So as I'm boiling my water, I'll have a cup of electrolytes at the end of the day. And a spare freeze dried or a pack of noodles as a backup. So one that isn't included in these. Um, and I also have my wraps, which I have for lunch. Starting with breakfast, sometimes I have oats. If I'm hiking by myself, I'll have oats, but I'll stop mid morning or like an hour into the hike and have them on the trail. Um, it's just a really nice way to slow the day down and enjoy it. However, if I'm hiking with other people, that can be a bit annoying. So um, I don't usually feel like eating early in the mornings. So what I have been doing lately is an apple. They travel really well. It's also really nice to have something fresh when you're having a whole lot of packaged food for a couple of days. Um, if I was doing a week long hike, I wouldn't have an apple every day. But on a trip like this one, we're doing two days of hiking. Um, even on three day trips, definitely have an apple. Um, I like these little packages of banana bread that you can get from Woolies. They keep really well. Um, I prefer them to muesli bars because they're uh, not as dry. Muesli bars tend to make me really thirsty. So that's breakfast. Lunch is a wrap or two, a tin of tuna and some cheese. These little laughing cow cheeses, they last really well in the heat. Um, if I was hiking in winter or a cooler time of the year, uh, I like the cheese sticks that you get from Coles or Woolies. And dinner, usually just a freeze dried. That country meal, they're easy, they're high cows, they're designed to be everything you need when you're spending a day out hiking. It's really easy because I know that I'm getting a full nutritious meal for dinner that I don't have to think about. Snacks is probably the most important thing. This is where I go hard. Multiple salami sticks, usually one for the morning, one for the afternoon. Um, they're salty, which is really good when you're hiking. They're just really good, I love them. Something like a chip shapes some of these Again, something salty to snack on. It's really good to have a mix of salty and sweet. And salt is also important when you're out hiking and sweating. Um, it's really important to help rehydrate you along with drinking lots of water. Obviously lots of chocolate. I like the little packs of chocolates you get like these because they're just a good bite size. Um, another key thing that I do that I've found helps, especially with having a low appetite, is having lots of snacks throughout the day and a smaller lunch. So for lunch, I only have a wrap and a tuna tuna and some cheese, um, which isn't, it's not as much as I would have on a normal day, but I'm snacking a lot more than I would on a normal day. So that's why these are really good because you can have like one every hour or whatever. After dinner chocolate, it's a bigger one but it's after dinner, so it's nice to have something sweet before bed. Some dried fruit for some sugar, some carbs. I also always have a packet of lollies. Handy as well. They're excellent for when it's mid afternoon and you've still got a few Ks to your campsite and you need some motivation. A couple of these little breakfast biscuits. Um, I forget the brand, but something sweet that's not chocolate. Um, they've got like oats and stuff in them, so they're kind of similar to a muesli bar. So, to know how much food to take, the first time I went on a multi-day hike, I had an Excel spreadsheet and I wrote down all the calories, um, all the carbs, all the protein, all the fat for each item of food. You could work out how many calories you burn on a day hiking, but every hike is different. Know where your calories are coming from so that you know that you have enough or as much as you can get protein, fats, all that stuff so that you're not just carrying sugar. So this is what works for me. This has been a lot of trial and error to work out what works for me. So I think that is the best thing you can do. I am by no means a nutritionist or qualified to talk about what food you should take on a hike. 
However, this is what I have found works for me. The best thing I can do to recommend you is to write down all your food, go out on hikes, even if it's day hikes, to work out what you like, what you feel like eating when you're under pressure. I'd love to know what works for you, so drop us a comment. If you have any thoughts or if you think that there's something that I should add to my mix of food for the day, I'm gonna pack this up and get back on the track.